Next up on the docket, the public safety bill, which now includes two gun control measures that Democrats have been pushing for for years. Lou Ragusa is at the Capitol with more on these new additions. Lou? Well, Julie, House Dia Fowler has actually trimmed down some of its uh, initial proposals when it comes to gun control, something that state Republicans say shows that the DFL party members are not in full agreement on the issue. Nonetheless, the Minnesota House of Representatives is poised to pass a public safety bill that includes two major gun control issues. Let's get it done. A rally outside the Capitol by those hoping to see gun control law changes in Minnesota. The House DFL's latest public safety bill includes two major provisions regarding guns. The first one allows for extreme risk protection orders, commonly known as a red flag law, allowing family members and chief law enforcement officers to get a court order to take guns from people who pose, quote, a significant danger of bodily harm to others or to themselves. These are common sense measures that our constituents for years have been telling us that they want, and we're going to do that today. House Republicans say the extreme risk protection orders don't provide support and care to those in crisis and are unconstitutional. The seizure of property without a warrant and due process, especially property that is protected by the Second Amendment, violates civil rights. The other major gun provision in the bill includes what's commonly called universal background checks. The bill says a private party who wants to transfer, not just sell, a pistol or semi-automatic military-style assault weapon to another unlicensed person has to go to a gun dealer and ask for a background check, which again, the GOP opposes. And at the same time that they are pushing for lessening of crimes uh, penalties, they're trying to make more people into criminals that aren't doing anything wrong. Now, we're still waiting for the House to begin debating this bill, so it could go pretty late into the night. Earlier this month, the Minnesota Senate passed its public safety bill, but it did not include gun control measures in that. So it'll be interesting to see how the two chambers reconcile uh, when they work on the final bill, when it's all said and done, and what uh, gun control measures will be included in the final works that goes to the governor. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Lou.